Adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over, and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostim supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmat. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral de Gaulle. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. De Gaulle out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dukat. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Boralus. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. <laughs> I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intrigue. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see if he's working out. Orders, Captain? I can't build there. Orders, sir! Yes! Orders, sir! He landed too, sir! successful, Admiral. Excellent, Lieutenant. 
This planet's primary defenses are now threatened. Our attack teams can now begin to decode the Dominion security data link. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in Drydock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turn coat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the Captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. will have a medic assigned to it to patch up the wounded, but that doesn't mean you can get careless. Stay frosty and get the job done. State the nature, of, nature of your medical emergency. Did someone you ask you? Issue. Jacked up and good to go. Battle Cruiser Operational. Operational. The silos are secured. We've got four nukes on standby, awaiting your orders. I hear that. I'm gone. I hear that. Nuclear launch detected. I'm gone. Nuclear launch detected. Cruiser operation. Heads up, fire. We got it. Order, sir! State the nature of your medical equipment. Rocket, we gotta shake this lockdown, Cruiser! Medic, restore us! State the nature of your medical emergency. I'm on the job. How y'all doing? The last operational. Battle cruiser Captain, operational. We are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. Ah, 
This must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. Healing frequencies open. Good day, Commander. In the cage. Healing frequencies open. In the cage. Set a course. Take it slow. Receiving transmission. Healing frequencies open. Set a course. Healing frequencies open. All crews reporting. Captain, we are being hailed by the Dominion flagship, NORAD-3. Well, now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down, now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Mengsk, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke, I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Good day, Commander. In the cage. Make it happen. Set a course. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Good day, Commander. Receiving transmission. Good day, Commander. Healing frequencies open. Take it slow. Receiving transmission. Captain. The Dominion shipyards have been destroyed, and it seems that General Duke has withdrawn his forces from this quadrant. We have impressed most of the remaining Dilerian defense forces into the fleet, and stand ready to move to the next phase of our invasion. We've just received word from our research team that they've uncovered some kind of hidden weapons relay upon the planet Tarsonas. They report that it's called a Psy Disruptor, and that its purpose is somehow connected with the Zerg. Admiral. During the Zerg invasion of these colonies, the Confederacy had manufactured a number of portable machines called Psi Emitters, which had the uncanny ability to lure Zerg to their signals. It was rumored that they had created a specialized emitter that could disrupt the Zerg's communications, but Emperor Mengsk was never able to find it. It appears that this Psi Disruptor is the machine he was looking for. I must humbly suggest to you, Admiral, that the Disruptor be destroyed as quickly as possible. If it should fall into the hands of the Dominion, we could face some very serious problems. Uh, a prudent call, Lieutenant. I am inclined to agree. But Admiral, this device could ensure our victory over the Zerg. It is foolhardy to discard such an advantage. Surely, Vice Admiral, you don't doubt the tenacity of your own fleet. Your Directorate forces will devastate the Zerg without the need for such a device. Listen here, Lieutenant. I've had just about enough of your- This conversation is over, Alexei. Given the true nature of our mission to enslave the Overmind, we could hardly stand to have Manx control a device of this magnitude. The Psy Disruptor must be destroyed in order to safeguard our mission. Ensign, set your course for Tarsonis. Go ahead, HQ. Lieutenant Duran, since you have shown such concern for this device's inherent danger, I charge you with finding the disruptor and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. Orders, Captain? Yes, sir? How can I be of service? 
Check down How can I be of service? I'll take care of it. How can I be of service? Captain, our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence was correct. Admiral, if we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. Shall we plant the explosives on it? Lieutenant Duran, we're here to relieve you. We've come with orders from Admiral Stukov himself to facilitate the disruptor's disassembly. Very well. Take it away. Captain, I'll be returning to the command ship presently. set a fine example to the rest of my officers. Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me that the Psy Disruptor has been accounted for, so we can now proceed with the next phase of our operation. The time has come to begin our primary invasion of the Dominion throne world of Koro. Alexei, fill the captain in on the current situation. As you may know from your research, Captain, Koral was a hotbed of anti-Confederate sentiment for years. The Confederacy hoped to contain Korhal's civil unrest by decimating it and its population with a massive nuclear barrage. Though the radiation levels on the planet are at an all-time low, its surface is now nothing more than a smoldering desert. The catch, Admiral, is that because this world has already been devastated by nuclear fire, Mengsk has no compunction against using nukes on us. We have detected a large cluster of missile silos on the outskirts of Augustgrad. If those silos were destroyed, we we'll believe that Mengsk would lose its core nuclear capabilities. We also face a different obstacle, Captain. Intelligence has informed us that Mengsk employs multiple battle cruisers for his planetary defense. It is possible to nullify these battle cruisers by taking out strategic physics labs. Without these labs, Manx will be unable to power up his ship's weapon systems. Though we know how to compensate for Manx's defenses, we don't have enough time to follow through on them both. Therefore, Captain, you must choose to either counter his nuclear capabilities or his battle cruisers. Once you've taken care of this operation, we can begin to plan our final assault against Augustgrad. Yes, sir? SCP, good to go, sir. Tricked up and good to go. Go, go, go. Let's move. Nuclear launch detectives. Nuclear launch detectives. SCP, good to go, sir. What's up? No sweat. I'm going. No sweat. Abandoning your 
auxiliary structure. SCP, good to go, sir. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Give us some Let's move. SCP, good to go, sir. You called down the thunder. Now reap the whirlwind. Reinforcements already in transit. Just sit tight. Nuclear launch detected. the Dominion flagship NORAD-3 in low orbit. Emperor Minsk may be attempting an escape. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Emperor Minsk of the Terran Dominion. I wish to parley with your executive officer at once. So, the elusive Arcturus Minsk at last. I was hoping to speak with you before we finished our business here. I am Admiral Gerard Dugault. And I must commend you, sir, for holding back our advance for as long as you have. You are indeed a worthy opponent. My thanks to you, sir. But you must know that your victory here means little to me. It might have taken me a while, but I did overthrow the Confederacy. I'll overthrow your rule as well. That seems unlikely, sir. Seeing as how you will be publicly executed along with the rest of your ranking officers. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> the man who crowns himself Emperor speaks to me of daring. You have far outlived your reputation, Citizen Minsk. Captain, prepare to take the Emperor into custody. You'll have to postpone those plans, gentlemen. Sir, the Rebel Command ship Hyperion has just entered our sensor range. It is accompanied by a small Protoss fleet. What? Who are these intruders? Jim Rayner? What the hell are you doing here? I'm pulling your ass out of the fire, Arcturus. So shut up and sit tight. Make no mistake about it. We've got us a serious score to settle. But right now, a mutual acquaintance of ours wants you alive. Prepare your ships for dimensional recall. This is impossible. They're escaping right out from under us. Track them. Track them. Captain, 
We have tracked the fugitives Minx and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg broods surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the broods seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Minx represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain? You will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. don't show any Zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these Zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. 
Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. You want a piece of me, boy? Admiral, the fugitives Minsk and Rainer escaped through the warp gate due to the intervention of the Zerg. But shortly before our forces were overrun, Vice Admiral Stukov took control of a large contingent of troops and came here to the planet Braxis. Why would he abandon the battle on Ayer? Why has he come back to Braxis? I mean no offense, Admiral. But perhaps Stukov's loyalties are not as strong as you once believed. Because you are young and foolish, Lieutenant, I will pardon that insult. Alexei and I have been friends since long before you were born. However, he must be found. If Stukov is here, he will account for his actions. Admiral. Our sensors have detected a fully functional Psi Disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the Psi Disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral. Stukov has betrayed you! He's reconstructed the Psi Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in the sector! I can't believe... Yet, the evidence is incontrovertible. Alexei, what have you done? Perhaps you've been right all along, Lieutenant. On my authority, enter the side disruptor and deal with the Vice Admiral appropriately. Of course, Admiral. Lieutenant, hang tight for a sec while we clear the entrance. They've locked the door. Set the bomb. Unauthorized entry detected. How can I be of service? We're in. This room's clear. You got it. I'll take care of it. Madak. Damn thing. Computer, locate Admiral Stukov. Access code denied. I'm here. I'll take care hey, of it. Hey, computers. You got it. Yes, Captain. What's up? Where's Stukov? Don't tell those traitors anything, Harry. Wax them, boys. Help! Of course. I'll take care of it. Right away. You got it. I'll take care of it. I'm gonna be of service. Yes, Captain. I'm here. You got State it. State the nature of your medical emergency. You need medical attention? Oh, another computer. Says hit any key. Well, which one's the any key? Security cameras activated. Goliath repair bay located in sector four. What do you need? You... What do you State need? State the nature of your medical emergency. Access code denied. Hey, who's messing with the computers? Oh, give me the damn access codes before I blow an aggression inhibitor. I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you. It's a... Uh, Farnum. Access code accepted. Thanks.
Security cameras activated. Vice Admiral Stukov detected in Sector 8. I'm here. I'll t Hey, boys. We can sure use those Goliaths. Get over there and commandeer them. I'll take care of it. Right Trigger. away. Alert the you Goliath got it. Pilot. Of course. You got it. Hey, you. Get over here with that SAV and repair our Goliaths. Don't shoot. I'll do it. I read you. System. I be of service. Of course. Vice Admiral Stukov, I am here under orders to terminate your command. Lieutenant Duran, I'm not surprised. We both know exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. Say goodnight, Stukov. To hell with you. <sighs> Lieutenant Duran. Report your situation immediately. Gerard, old friend, you do indeed have a traitor in your midst. But it's not me. Duran, he has been playing us both from the start. He convinced you to destroy this side disruptor, even though it was our best chance at defeating the Zerg. And then on Ire. He allowed the Zerg to overrun us, even as we had the fugitives in our grasp. I came here to activate the one hope we have of defeating them. And you killed me for it. <laughs> Duran is your enemy, Gerard. I suspect that he may even be infested as well. Use the disruptor, Gerard. Finish our operation. Let my death have at least some meaning. Alexei! Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Computer, where the hell is Lieutenant Duran? The Lieutenant no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Joran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going, and find that override terminal. Systems functional. Go ahead, TACOM. Target Channel open. Confirmed. Security cameras activated. Target designated. Comlink online. Commander. Comlink online. Target designated. Jacked up and good to go. Go ahead, TACOM. Outer installation walls have been breached. Tracking multiple Zerg signals throughout the side disruptor's interior. What the hell? How did Zerg get in here? Captain, we may have a huge infestation problem. This proves that Duran's working with the Zerg. Captain, don't let a single Zerg stand in your way. We need this disruptor now more than ever. Stack! Right away. Give me some issue. Security cameras activated. Oh, man. How the hell are we gonna get by all them Zerglings? Go ahead, get designated. Fire it up. It looks like this corridor has been lined with defensive auto guns. If we can lure the Zerg in here, they'll be cut to shreds. Calling on the lead. Yes. Go ahead, Confirm. Fire it up. 
your forces are under attack. Core shutdown sequence initiated. Good work, Captain. I want this side disruptor kept on full power around the clock. I'll leave a garrison here to protect it as well. Prepare the fleet to move out. We are going to the planet Char to claim that cursed overmind. And may heaven help your end for what he has done this day. With the Psy Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I'd venture a guess that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful, and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. Orders, Captain? Base is under attack. Sir, these sunken colonies aren't being affected by anything we hit them with. I'll bet there's one of those cerebrate critters pumping up full of energy nearby. This is open. Sir, this cerebrate's been whacked. We shouldn't have any more trouble with those sunken colonies. Take it slow. We've 86 this cerebrate. We shouldn't run up against any smacked up ultralisks anytime soon. Good day, Commander. Happen. We breached the perimeter of the Overmind's nesting area. We can launch the med team at any time, sir. Receiving transmission. Set the course. Good day, Commander. In the cage. Alien frequencies over. Take it slow. Go ahead, HQ. I'm listening. In transit, HQ. Did someone page me? On my way. Need medical attention? Captain? The medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the Overmind. Uh, excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. You ran, you son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral Gaulle, I've heard a lot about you. Ooh, the... What the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. 
The Zerg you've killed here, and the Overmind which you've come to collect, are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination. Seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces. And it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained Directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while Directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. <laughs> <laughs>